Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time and we take junk and transform it. Today we're doing a little bit different, similar actually to two weeks ago because we have so many thrift flips to catch up on because we were on vacation for a week. So we're going to be transforming thrift flips into home decor for spring and summer. And we're gonna show you how to make it super cute using DIY paint and IOD. Caitlin's on here um handling questions so if you have any questions let us know and i apologize for being late um we had the changing of the guards so i had to pick up <laughs> jack and drop off Frederick right at 10 a.m at the high school for football camp so i just boogied back here um as fast and legally fast as i, I could so we're super excited to get going we'll go a little over today since we were late um so I was looking at what we had in the garage and I was like, you know what? We got to just paint the projects we already have and get them out of here before we repair anything, get anything new that needs fixed. I think next week we'll probably do a heavier hitting Waste Not Wednesday because, you know, you guys are due for some good repairs. We've got one of those old organs in the garage and I might Ooh. turn that into a desk if I can squeeze in I do a bench. half an hour. You want me to make that organ into a bench? Yeah, because we already have desk and because we sold, remember that uh, crockery bench, we sold that. So we don't have any benches in the shop right now. Okay, I'll do it. Always make sure to stir up your cottage colors. Caitlin's dropping links, but you can buy our painted items at JamieRayVintage.com. Just click Saturday Thrift Hall and things will be on there. Sometimes it takes me a minute to update the pictures once they've been painted. Um, and you can also get the paint and the new IOD. So I think it'll be okay that we do this because yesterday we did the paint of Palooza and we had a lot of positive responses. Lots of good questions yesterday. Lots of people like, hey, how's the new cottage color work? And, you know, we've had this line of paint out. I, has it been a year now? It came out last summer. I think it's been a year. It came out last summer. Uh, yeah, last last. I don't spring. know the exact date. It might. I have feel been like, like it was August. the same time last year. But yeah, it, it could have been right around this time. Um, but so it's been a year now. We've got eight colors. We just added three new ones on Monday. They became available. So it's it's been awesome. We're really excited about these colors. We got lots of projects for them. Well, this is actually from like three four weeks ago. We thought we had somebody that didn't want it painted. But then she didn't wind up ordering it. So I'm going to paint it because it's kind of like dingy. Some of the paint's chipping off. Yeah, it's definitely, it definitely gonna... needed painted in my opinion. It looks like it's been running around like in a garage and other stuff has run up against it. And it's got like paint transfer from other things. Well, it's been running around there. in our garage. Um, yeah, but we haven't been she, rubbing She it had a broken stuff. nose, so she needed a nose job. Yeah. The good news is crockery is very similar to the original color. So, oh, you know what? This is a new dress. I'm going to get an apron on. Because <laughs> I was going to say, you're just going for it in that brand it's new different, dress. It's like, different. Inevitably, when I'm not on... you will get paint on it. Like she was wearing one of my t shirts this morning, and it was one of the newer ones that I haven't painted in yet. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. Don't, you know, we're going to paint in like an hour. <laughs> on Instagram, I did a little try on session this morning for this dress. I'll try to get it up on Facebook later. There's really not a spot to do it on YouTube. It's hard because YouTube has stories. But they, if they're over 30 seconds, it cuts them off. So. Yeah, I've been doing real fast little uh, stories on the Jamie and Zeb. Uh, How's that Hawaii channel. video coming? I'm almost done. I gotta, I gotta do some voiceover, which might include you with okay. me to do some voiceover. Well, today's I'm not otherwise. So Jamie was like, just do some whispering ASMR as you show all the pretty like beaches and the rivers <laughs> and the waterfalls. And I was, and, and I, and I did that a little and I'm like, no, I just sound creepy when I'm whispering at the, at the camera. <laughs> Fine. I think it's going to be, this is going to be like one and a half coats only because I think I might miss a few spots and then definitely um, dark wax on this piece. You guys, we might, by the time we get done with this week, cause we've got these fun new colors, you might be like, all right, you painted everything crockery. Let's see another color. Cause I literally just want to paint everything in crockery right now. We'll do some, why don't we do some mixing? We'll make okay. a few different shades. So we I forgot the gray skies again. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, she says, I'm refinishing a hutch and six chairs. I learned from this product that I will never hand paint chairs again. I say that and I still do it. Um, do you guys have an airless sprayer? So typically we use our Harbor Freight sprayer, but I do know that the Wagner sprayers, Caitlin might be able to pull up an Amazon link for you. The Wagner sprayers are some of the best in the industry. 
we checked my crockery um for airless sprayers um we have like a big uh house sprayer that we have from harbor freight that we like but that uses like five gallons of paint at a time so yeah. for painting furniture it's not really effective you waste a lot of paint um, let's Actually, see. no. This is the one we've been using. I ruined the Harbor Freight one because I didn't wash it oh, out for like a year, Depot? and I got the better, the better sprayer when we when we redid the shop and I was spraying the ceiling. So we do have a nice Wagner sprayer, but it still does five. Like it's best if you have like a five gallon bucket of paint because it. It pulls a lot of paint. It's for spray Linda and says, I have a Wagner and it rocks. And I think Linda actually paints quite a bit. So, oh, Kilahua erupted on the big island this morning. Oh, man. We were just talking about that. We're like, we haven't been to the big island. We should maybe try and go see that. And then I was looking at it. I'm like, most of this island is volcano. Like, it's the biggest island by, by like three times, I think. But a lot of it's a volcano. Yeah, my mom. And it just erupted last year or two years ago took out an entire town. Yeah, I think so. I need to do some research on that. But they... Uh, the Wagner Spray Tech, I believe so. Caitlin, can you just double check in the description and make sure it says Airless? It has a small a hopper in. underneath. Yeah, the Wagner that I'm talking about is just a plug and play. It has a little hopper on the bottom. Plug and play just means you plug it in and it works. Plug it into the wall. They do have It's a cord gaming term. So they do have a cordless option, but that's going to make your gun heavier. So keep that in mind. If you're going to be doing a lot of spraying, Sometimes it's better to plug it into the wall, even though the cordless gives you a lot of mobility and freedom. It's also heavy. And so if you're doing a lot of like wrist turning, it's going to be a workout. Yeah, I have a hard time with cordless tools. When we put up the shiplap in this house, I wrecked my elbows and they still haven't recovered. And I actually had to wind up, wind up going with an air compressed like pin nailer because the cordless option was just so heavy. I had like a ton of nerve damage. It's better than it used to be, but I still like when we move furniture, I have to have my elbows bent. If I let it hang, I don't go very far. I'm strong enough, but my elbows do not like it. So be careful with cordless tools if you're doing lots of repetitive motion with them. All right. So this little elephant was super shiny. I got one coat of cottage color on there. My brush was a little wet because I just washed it. So that's also thinned my paint out a little bit. Just keep in mind if you... You got a wet brush your first coat of your first project might be a little thin almost like a wash that's kind of what this was doing but this is pretty much the same color it was so it's covering pretty good i'm going to let it dry and then i'll touch up anywhere that i missed and then we'll dark wax this and this one's going to be done and out of my garage i'm going to get a little baggy since i'm going to revisit this brush like five times but i don't want to let it i'm going to just out. push this over with my brush Okay, next up we have our duck guru. You know what? I want to make that gray color again. I'm going to grab weathered wood, mix that with I would blue do a hills. little more weathered wood. I wanted mine to be a little darker yeah. yesterday. If we had the gray skies, which I was at the shop we this morning moving again. gravel, <laughs> and I spaced it. I completely forgot. That happens. Um, can you grab the Americana? Is it not there? No, this is paint blue. It got put away. Oh, there it is. I bent over. You guys got to hear my old lady squeaks. Did you get all the brushes out? Yeah, they're all over here. Okay. Most of them. Mostly. You did a bang up job on that elephant. It's really slick and shiny. You like it's, it's, the legs. it's actually, I did paint through the no, legs. No, you didn't. So I did. Okay. I just touched it and wiped it off. That's why you got to push it with the brush. All right, I'm going to get a bowl. Where's your special stirring knife? You know what? We have all these like tongue depressor sticks. So I'm going to get those. To oh, with. yeah. We were supposed to make some so that you uh, bookmarks, but I forgot. We actually had a customer request. Remember when we made bookmarks for Waste Not Wednesday? We had a customer request them. So I've got to get to it. Thank you, Vicki. She says she loves the statue that I'm painting. It's a Alice Heath Austin production um piece and these are actually highly collectible so i so i wanted to paint it in something that kind of honored the original color because i just want to touch it up not completely change it okay um oh yes that's caitlin that's what i mean so the 
the Wagner that is not cordless but doesn't need an air compressor. It's just an electric plug and play. Okay. Just seeing if there's any more questions. Oh, Caitlin found the link and it's 33% off. Just so you guys know, when you do click any Amazon links that we give you, we get a small like pennies on the dollar percentage of what you, it's like a referral bonus from Amazon. So I have to disclose that. Yeah. The cool thing is whatever else you order off of that link, we get a bonus for it. It's fun for me to look because they don't tell me who orders what. But I can look through my affiliate and I make like maybe 50 bucks a month, maybe a hundred on a good month. But I look through and I can see what we've been paid revenue on. I'm like, I never shared a link for that. But it's just because of like anything you buy through that link, we get credit for. All right, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to add crockery to the Americana and see if we get like a smoky brownish tan. And I'm doing Blue Hills with weathered wood. Seb's using a paper plate. I'm using a bowl. Probably a good call. Oh, what you're using, you and you're just using whatever's in the kitchen. <laughs> we it's, have plastic cups in there. It's fine. I'll wash it later. <laughs> we actually need to go to Ikea and get more bowls. So I'm so probably I'm, just, I'm probably two parts Americana, one part um, crockery on this mix. We'll see what we get. And I'm probably one to ten. I don't know. I did a tablespoon of weathered wood with probably a fourth a fourth a cup of oh that's like very annoying noise. Stir it with your brush. What brush are you gonna or your finger? Mm, that was annoying noise. I'm just trying to make a smoky or blue. So I just added weathered wood to blue hills, but I think I added too much weathered wood. Oh no, I thought that was gonna be great. Do do do. Fingers are tools that you never lose. They're always attached. Well, they're not always attached. <laughs> if you're using power tools, you can lose a finger real fast. All right. I've made a very great smoky blue. I'm Mixed actually it up well. I'm this color here. It's like it got sagey. Do you, you any of you guys get the protection plan like through it? No, we never do. I probably should because I use my tools to death, but honestly, a lot of them have manufacturer warranties. Like the Milwaukee tools I buy That's have a five-year manufacturer warranty. Um, so just check on that and see what the manufacturer warranty is because a lot of times the place you buy it will facilitate the manufacturer warranty. You just got to return it to them and then they'll send it back to the manufacturer for you and just give you a new tool. All right, so we have a few questions. Rita says, are you using chalk paint and what are you adding after painting? So this is cottage color like and I mixed in clay-based paint just to tint it. Um, but the cottage color is a mineral-based paint that has a built-in sealer. So it is not a chalk paint um, per se. Um, and then do you know if I could use crockery on my bathroom countertops? It's laminate. It'll stick, but you're probably still going to want to do. You need to do a very like heavy. a resin or epoxy type sealer on countertops. You can get away with just doing like a liquid top coat on there. We've done that in our bathroom. We have just big top in this vanity in the bathroom in here. It's okay. Over DIY paint, and it's held up great. But this bathroom's also not a heavy use bathroom. Um, like no one's in there spilling makeup or doing anything like that in there. I would suggest if you are going to be using this paint on a bathroom counter that's laminate, that you start with salvation solution. You will never be sorry that you're starting with a great primer. It's water-based. It's not going to stink you out since you're using it in the house, like shellac based primers, you got to wear a respirator. It's insane. So get the salvation solution, paint your countertop with that, then use whichever cottage color you want. And then I would find a really durable like top coat that you could put over that just for extra durability. Um, like I said, I pretty much just use like big top and things like that. I would even maybe do the sweet pickens mm -hmm. because that is actually, it's not all natural. It does have low VOCs. So it's a little bit more durable because we do our best with all naturals, but for like crazy heavy hitters, sometimes you need chemicals. It's just the way it is. So you need to control how much you're using. I mean, you don't want to use like in something super stinky. So you could use the final finishes and I would go with a satin to or the gloss for a countertop, do a couple coats and then let it sit for at least a week and then be delicate for about a month while that cures up. That's what I would do. 
We do have, um, if you wanted to try it, I actually haven't shown it. I probably should. Um, amazing clear cast resin. It's, uh, you can get that on the website, Jamie Ray Vintage. Um, but that can be used if you just thin pour it over the top. It takes like 24 hours to set up. It'll give you a really thick, durable coating. A lot of people do it on like islands. Um, Maybe uh, we'll do something in the cottage with it. Yeah, we can show you guys how to use that. Mostly I just use it for like doing clear cast pouring, like uh, jewelry making in the molds and stuff like that. Um, but it can be used as a sealant over the top of things. And it's, it's awesome stuff. Um, we, you can spray cottage colors. If you go to our YouTube channel or Facebook and look back the last probably three or four Friday videos, we have sprayed um, the cottage color. We don't go into great detail in every video, but um, they, we've got the basic information. And then we also have just how to spray paint, like how to use the paint sprayer that we use. We've got some more detailed videos. We do about a pint to four tablespoons water ish. Mm, like one or two tablespoons. Okay, two water. tablespoons water. I thought it was four. It's not much. No. Okay, just try it a little bit at a time. Just Depending a on your sprayer, see, that's the thing. It's like, it's, it's kind of like making bread, which depends on your humidity and your oven and your elevation. Paint spraying is not an exact science. So it is pretty thin. You don't need much water. I would start with a couple tablespoons, test it, and make sure it's coming out correctly because every paint sprayer, how high you set your air compressor, how powerful your air compressor is, a lot of that can affect paint spraying. But it's definitely worth doing because once you get it down, if you watch our videos, they are seriously, it's so quick to paint. And because it has a built-in sealer, most of the time, unless it's like a heavy duty piece, you don't have to come back and seal it. You just spray a couple coats on, done. Thank you. Um, oh, we did a video more detailed from last year. So we have some recent ones and we also have one from last year. Thank you, Caitlin. All right, wait for one month before you use your bathroom waste says. Um, I never wait that long, but. It is recommended. It is recommended. Most she top coats and, and paints, no matter what brand, what kind, are a, food? are a 30 day cure time. Do you need something? Jack's like sneaking past here. If you need something, go ahead and get it. Just don't trip over the cords, okay? I need a tent for paint spraying. Yes, if you don't want it to get everywhere, I do suggest a tent. We just pull it out in the driveway over by, we used to just pull it out in the driveway at our other house too and just Yeah, spray. and sometimes we just spray it in the garage. Let's be honest. But so, but honestly, like you gotta be careful with that too. Cause if you're spraying in direct sunlight, it'll make your top coats or your paint dry too quickly. And it yeah. can give you like a rush, rough finish. Cause it doesn't allow the paint time to like, if it's hot and sunny outside, well, it doesn't allow tent, the paint to shade. settle down and self-level if it's a self-leveling type paint. Oh, thanks, Way. She says, love your new paints. Way, did you see that we got some lion bookends? I thought of you. They were in Monday's thrift hall. We're going to paint them up next week. Would you wait the cure time before listing and selling? Um, if When I used to sell stuff, like now my furniture, I don't sell it so quickly. Like it usually takes it a minute. But if it's less than a week, I just tell the customer, hey, just these are this is the care instructions. We also live, I should preface that with we also live in the second driest state in the country. So things dry and cure very fast here. Even with all the moisture we've had, we still don't have high humidity. And so things cure up and dry here way faster than anywhere else. I do think if you just use cottage colors, I feel like that will cure up faster than in like if you paint it and wax it, because wax takes a little bit longer to cure. So keep that in mind. Oh, thanks for the super sticker way. I'm using Blue Hills mixed with weathered wood. So I want it to make it a little bit smokier. And I will show you the can versus the paint. I don't know if you can tell the difference on that. But adding a little bit of weathered wood doesn't really change the top coat factor. Um, you just don't want to do it 50-50. Otherwise, you'd have to seal it. So you can mix the DIY paints with the cottage colors to change and get the hues that you want. Or just to... Yeah, if you have just a little bit of paint left and you want to stretch it, you use it up, those kinds of things. Oh, Jenny says, I'm in Virginia. Humidity is gross. Yes. If you're in Virginia, different story. I have a really hard time with humidity. I'm claustrophobic and it makes me feel like the sky is falling. I think it also is because I've lived in Utah, Arizona, and California my whole life. 
All right, why is this not popping out? I don't know. Those You're other, having a struggle, Buster. Well, those other two came right out, and now this one's not moving. It's like it's glued in or something. So right now we only have a light base for the cottage colors for the manufacturers because um, Renat, Renata, I think that's how you say it, wanted to know if we would get darker colors. We're trying. We're trying. We just have to have these sell really well and show the manufacturer that people really do love these paints, which is kind of hard in, a, in a, the current eco economic situation. But we're doing our best to get the word out um, and show people how to make the most bang for their buck with them. And hopefully if we do well, we'll get some darker colors. We have darker colors picked out. Our darkest color right now is gray skies. And if you mix that with any of our other colors, you will get a, like a darker hue. Oh my goodness. Like, Way would like yellow. We'll, we'll play I really a wanted a yellow, yellow too. Like a, a Not a buttery. primary yellow, more of like a creamy butter. Yeah, like a buttery mustard yellow. All right. I won. I won. All right. We will show you everything up close when it dries. But Zeb, can you show, just zoom in. It will dry darker. This, you the cottage a, color. You missed a hole. I missed a whole side. Yeah, and on the front too. Here, let me see your brush. Oh. What do you want me to zoom in on? Yeah. I'm just going to show them the difference. Can you see on camera the difference between that? Between what? Mustard is not buttery. Uh, it can be. <laughs> it's not, I have a color in mind. We'll see. We might if we get if we get what we want, we'll get a mustard and a straight up butter. And if we get a brown, all you have to do is take the butter, add a little brown, you can make a mustardy color. Okay, what can I just paint this? Yeah. Go for it. When this dries though, you guys are gonna love this color. This like blue gray smoky one. It's so good. Just reading comments. I'm liking this. It's like uh, like a sage. That one's got to dry, so I can put a second coat on there. So is it Americana mixed with with crockery? With crockery. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is pretty. The nice thing about mixing colors is you don't have to buy as many. And when you're painting small items like this, the paint goes a really long way. Like if you're doing a big dresser, you'll probably use like the whole pint, right? If you're painting stuff like this, like yesterday we painted all that stuff and every can had like this much paint missing out of it. It just doesn't take that much. The biggest thing is about sprayers is they don't work if you leave them in the box. So you need to, to practice using them and be patient because I remember when we first got our sprayer, I didn't open it for the longest time and then Zeb finally did. And I was like, holy moly, what was I waiting for? But it was really intimidating. And it did take a little bit to get used to it. And our first air compressor wasn't quite big enough. I think uh, that's why we gave up. And we, well, we, no, we, we used it quite a bit Remember once we got it going. Remember when I was that thing for Tiffany oh, and it was so slow? We had a little pot air compressor, like a little five gallon. It wasn't big enough. That doesn't, that doesn't work. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, I'm faster. And then we got a 10 gallon air compressor and that was still underpowered, but we could get like three quarters of the project done, let the air compressor catch up and then finish. Um, now we have a 60 gallon compressor and a uh, 20 gallon compressor. The 20 is actually still on the small side. The HVLP sprayer that we use um, recommends a 30 at the minimum uh, air compressor so that you can continuously spray. But the 20 gets it done. That's what we have over at the barn. I've got the 60 gallon air compressor here that I use for various other things and different tools and stuff. And, uh, but yeah, you can, you can get it done. It's just going to be a matter of waiting on your air to build back up if you have a smaller compressor. It requires a patience level that I do not have. I do not think that we have a magic eraser. No, there's. There was a bunch in the pool stuff, but I think it's out in the, in the shed. All right. Well, we may have to wait to do this one because it really needs a magic eraser all around. And I need to get those off, that off. So this is going to have to wait. How's this color looking on camera? Is it showing up real bright? It's oh, no, you can, you can see that it's green. It's got like a real green tone to it. Gloria says, I'm intimidated by sprayers, but I'm getting braver. 
right. just takes it's like anything it just takes practicing and doing it this one actually just needs an iod you got to be willing to break a few things mess a few things up uh to really get good at something i think like you can't just watch a ton of videos and then never try and do it and then expect to be perfect the first time what no that's not how that works uh -uh. i mean i feel like there are certain things like if you have a certain skill set if you watch a video you're like okay jack shh, he's over there banging on the table <laughs> uh but if you're if you're like proficient at woodworking and you watch like how to build a table you'll probably be pretty quick at that right pretty good at that but um if you've never done any woodworking or used power tools or cut wood at all before then you need to start there did right. you grab the the other two are sticks? over oh no they're in the drawer where we keep the brushes all right i think i've got most of the spots this little clock has a ton of detail on it so i'm going to be using the seed catalog uh, iod transfer again and a lot of people ask me do you need to seal over the top of your transfers so yes and no like this is just going to be for decor so it won't hold up for scrubbing if you are prone to scrubbing things then yeah you should put sealer over it and i just use like Sweet Pickens top coat and matte, or if like this is a little shiny, you could use satin. Um, I've also used liquid patina, so it's just whatever you prefer. Make sure it's really clean. In this case, I've got a couple of scuffs I wanna take off. I think I actually will cover them with a transfer, so we might be all right. And then I can put a sealer over the top of it. Make sure it's exactly how you want it to look before you seal it. You don't wanna seal in any scuffs or anything like that. I'm just gonna put this on here. Cylindrical surfaces can be difficult. I like to start in the middle and work my way out. So this one, we've used almost all of the little images, so we might have to grab another one. This is one of the new IOD transfers that has a peach on it. It says everything for the fruit grower. I'll show it to you up close here in a minute. I got some gravel laid down this morning. It actually started happening and it's going pretty quick. I might need one more load, maybe like a half load, but I'll probably just get a full load. And if we have extra gravel, I'll put it over in the driveway in front of the barn. Um, but it's it's not necessarily a pea gravel like we used in the other garden. It's like a chip gravel for the bottom of like ponds and things like that. And it was ridiculously cheap. And Jamie gave it the, uh, can I walk on it and weed my garden in my bare feet test? And she can't. I don't like to wear shoes all the time. I probably should. My, my feet reflect the, every time like I go to get a pedicure, there's a guy's like, what have you been doing to your feet? I'm like, listen, Linda, I'm here to get a pedicure, not judgment. <laughs> Just do your thing. Get the cheese grater out. Yeah. Should I paint? I feel like I want to... Oh, a little bit of a, a crack there, but that's all right. I don't know if I want to do this one the same color. How cute that is. I have a lot of that mixed up, though. I feel like I want to go Can you grab darker. me the top coat that's right there on the corner of the hut? Yep. I'm just going to seal the front of... I guess I should probably seal all the way around. Let me wash this all the way up. Because sometimes you can see where you stop and start, so it's important to be careful. That. I always, so every now and then we'll come across a clock where the face is really hard to get out or it's like glued in. Um, but most of the time, if you can remove the face, it's a good idea to do it just because. It's going to keep it from getting a lot of times these faces are plastic so you can't necessarily scrape them like you would a picture frame with a razor um so do we have any sandpaper i think i kind of want to four screws distress this enamel oh. a little bit oh this has one of those deals in it it's like glued in every now and then they'll have like these little compression foam pieces in here 
Well, that's not working. To keep the glass tight. Oh, don't break it. All right. Well, I'm not distressing the enamel because that didn't work the way I wanted to. This is... All right. We got it out. That's actually a piece of bent wood. Not so foam. this is final finishes in matte, but it's still a little bit shiny. I'm going to pour this on here. You should pour it in a separate container, but I don't like doing that because <laughs> then I got to wash it. So I just pour it on my piece. And I just kind of feather out the sealer so you don't have like a stopping point line. There are some scuffs on this, but they weren't coming off. So I'm just going to go with it. That's all you have to do. If you don't do this and it's just for your own use, it'll be fine. But I just want to show you how you can seal it. And just make sure you don't have any drips. So it likes to, likes to do that. This is a really thin top coat. Can you pass me the crockery? Yes. My brush fell way down in there. Yeah, it did. It's like completely. How cute is that? Dollar fifty at the thrift store. Little transfer on it. Now it's twenty bucks. It's got to have the right tools. If you guys have like a booth or whatever, that seed packet transfer is money. Okay, so I've got more crockery in here, just a dip of my crockery and Americana mix. And then I just wanted to give it kind of like a blue green hue more than actually change the whole color. What else would you like? Oh, you know what? I, I need to this. paint this. Oh, yeah. This one is. I don't know if you can get that string of pearls out of there, though. No, I could I'm just not gonna... remember what that was called. And. We got a bunch of comments. String of pearls is what that is. I got a plan. I got a plan here. We're going to use painter's tape and tape it back. Give it a little headband. Because this, this is like all up in my business where I need to paint. Hoping my plan works. <laughs> Trying to make it into like a little messy bun here. Plans a situation. Is a ponytail holder? <laughs> it might work. I'm gonna try my painter's tape idea here, and I can always cut it off the. So I am using this DIY brush with the cottage colors just know these bristles are designed for diy paint they're working fine like you can paint any paint with them but don't let your brush dry out you need to get it right in water clean it up do whatever you need to do because the bristles are so fine sometimes if you let it sit even if it's just a few minutes um it'll dry up enough that those bristles stick together it's really hard to get them back soft and and clean again if you don't if you don't wash right away so just just a heads up for you they work well with the paint but you want to make sure you're cleaning them quickly I just want it not to fall over i think i got most of it now it's going to be a booger to get all this painter's tape off of here but i am like not a neat painter so i can't be trusted to not get paint all over it <laughs> don't be laughing at me this I didn't know what you were doing over there. I looked over, you got like a, you're like mummifying that string of pearls. Done. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab the primer because this is like mirrored, it's so shiny. How much of a situation is it? This is a 150% like heavy duty situation. I need to get this tag off of here and then scrub it. I really like, if you guys have not, little shameless plug here, you have not tried out one of our pot scrubbers they're amazing like they have really stiff bristles so you don't want to use them on anything delicate but they work really well with warm water to get sticky or whatever off all right so this is crockery with a hint of my crockery americana mix over the top of black. So I'm gonna. <laughs> when it says it's a great turban, 
Okay, here you do what you gotta do. All right. I just have enough of that for a second coat. Leave that sitting over there. I'm gonna paint this with my grab mix. That. What this? That brush. Do we have an extra brush somewhere that's um, not? Um no, it might be time to wash. You might you can check in the what's on this brush? Drawer. Crockery. Oh. I think I might stencil this. We'll see how that goes. Shower cap would have worked. Probably a better option. Or those things they put like on when you're spraying a ceiling and you have to cover a uh, fire alarm. So I'm at the hardware store. But like, who's prepared for painting something like this? I don't know. Like, I don't plan ahead. <laughs> don't you? No. You could also use a Ziploc bag, which I do have those. Oh, where's my, do you have the scraper out? My girlfriend's mom just got me a scrub mommy. I do like those. Those do work. They have the little faces on them. So I'm just priming this with Salvation Solution because it is so shiny. Could I paint it with the DIY paint cottage colors? Probably. Would it be a nightmare? Probably. So I'm just avoiding any unforeseen circumstances. And some of this gold may peek through. Keep that in mind. Like it's nearly impossible to completely get rid of something. So if you absolutely hate a color, like you're going to have to strip that color off or live with it. Jamie, do you get your back order IOD today? I actually don't know. But I well, we not, usually, with, nothing's on back order. We just reordered. So we're just waiting on a shipment. Yeah. We reorder. What people probably don't know is we reorder multiple times a week on, on the regular basis. Yeah, because we we order DIY paint every day. We have a huge we have probably one of the biggest stocks of DIY paint, IOD, whatever of anybody in the market, but it's still, we still have to reorder what, when we sell stuff, we just reorder. Frequently. So, so what Ivy does is she just, every week she just goes in and sees what's sold and puts in a reorder. Well, when it's a busy, like a release, it's same she usually day. Does, yeah. She usually does same day. When do we get that email? Yeah, you get an email when they ship unless it's gone to your junk file, but you can also email Caitlin and she can look into it for you. Okay, let's see. Is this, is everything base coated that you brought out? Oh, you know what? We have this other plant. This one is still, I think that the plant leaves themselves are kind of furry. No, yeah, like don't, I wouldn't sweat it. That's that's the style of the I'm plant. going to take a Lysol wipe though and just like quadruple wipe these because I think I can get them a little bit cleaner even. So I, I took this one and I hosed it down in the shower, but I feel like they're still a little dusty. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a Lysol wipe on these just to quadruple clean them. As soon okay, as Ivy said she unpacked a ton yesterday, so they'll ship today and tomorrow. Yeah, if you ever have a question, though, you can always email Caitlin. We do our best to stay on top of stuff, but especially with new releases, sometimes it can get kind of crazy. And so, and also sometimes you, things have shipped, but maybe you didn't get the tracking email. Things happen. So always, never be afraid to get in touch with us if it's been a minute and you're not sure. Yeah, we'd rather answer your question than worry, have you worry about like taking our time up. Like that's, it's not, what we that's do. not a big deal. That's what we're here for. It does take a little bit longer for new releases just because, you know, we might normally we might get like 50 orders a day on a new release. We've actually got up to what's our maximum amount of orders we've had in a day. I don't know. It's like hundreds, a couple yeah. hundred, two, three hundred orders. I'm going to have to get a heat gun. Gotta get a heat gun. 
the holiday releases are insane. It's like all hands on deck. So I'm just using more of that Blue Hills mixed with weathered wood. Gonna try to heat gun some of this stuff so we can get some projects finished while we're on this video. All right, look at that, that's so cute. Uh, looks good. I'm gonna see so it. I sprayed that off with my air hose and then Jamie sprayed it off with the hose. So the, it's got like this dusty, not necessarily dusty, but like almost like a, like a little fur look to it. And that's on purpose. I'm still gonna take a Lysol wipe to it. Okay. Just to be sure, quadruple sure. Did you, do you have moss to put in the bottom of that? That's what I was going to check and see if I have any. Are you I sure don't... it wouldn't be in your other cabinet over there? Mm. Well, I usually put it in here. I'm going to double check the other cabinet. If not, I'll just pop by the Dollar Tree today. I'd be surprised if you didn't have some spare uh, moss laying around. So if you see me like do this like crazy, you don't, you got to be real careful with the cottage hey, Jackie, colors because it's got the built in sealer. Thing. You don't want to like bubble because it and make your paint finish all warty. Or maybe you do, you want the days. texture, you go ahead. Because it will add some kind of cool texture to it. What I love about this paint is even though we're brushing it, a lot of times it looks like it's like a factory sprayed finish because it lays down so smooth. All right, sorry, I do not have any, so I'll have to stop by the Dollar Tree, but that's my trick with these kinds of things. If you can't spray it off, take like a cleaner. I like Lysol wipes, they're like light and delicate and I can dust them and then put new moss and it'll look brand new. There goes Eliza and Meryl. Oh, yep. Eliza's on her She's got to hurry and get back because Jamie, as soon as Eliza gets back from cheer practice, Jamie's running her up the mountain to a girls camp. odelia has been there all week, but Eliza's had practice. So she's going to go up today for a couple days before it ends. You guys should get those carts with wheels. Um, actually, that would not work because this is our kitchen. So I don't want to look at it, but we do just keep them all in the buffet. But when we get the studio space finished. We've been talking about the studio since September now. <laughs> by by about September, we work. might have started on that <laughs> by September. By 2029. It's on the list. And the thing is, we have so many tools. Like, you couldn't fit it all in a cart if you tried. And I never, the part of the creative process is, like, in the moment thinking about what you want to use. And so even though I try to, like, we did pull out some stuff, I just never know what I'm going to want to use. Well, hopefully once we get the studio done, we'll have like cabinet on the side, like right here where we can just grab it on camera and done. I'm just double hitting up spots where I missed that pink color initially. And then we can dark wax this. It covered pretty good. It's going to look a lot lighter because it dries darker than the base coat, but it'll dry the same color. How old is Eliza now? Eliza is 14. Yep. That's why she drives a golf cart and not a car. So here in Utah, they get their driving permits at 15, but they still have to drive with an adult that's licensed until they're 16. So even though she'll be driving, she'll probably still be taking that golf cart a lot of places unless I can ride with her or Jamie can. She's been driving that golf cart for about a year now. Yeah. Is, are the dogs? Uh, Sounds like someone put them up. Yeah. You might want to. It'll be all right. They can't hurt the door more than they already have. You're not the one that had to repaint that thing. Cody's persistent. It could be Jack doing something. No. Jack's outside. 
The dogs are upstairs. Hey, Jackie, can you let Cody out? I think he's in our room. And Rex is out here, so he's really unhappy. Quick, because he's scratching up the door. It's either that or the washer. The washer machine. The washing no, machine is trying to like go on walkabout. <laughs> That's funny because Cooper just sent me a reel this morning about a washing machine. Like it was just funny. It was like random. Sometimes he sends me the random, most random stuff. He was in far, was it far west Missouri? No, that's definitely Cody barking. A studio does sound amazing. We have the space, it's just not organized. Currently has storage stuff in it, but we could get most of the stuff out on the floor at the shop, put the seasonal stuff in the basement, and then we would have a workspace. Oh, that's another thing. We've talked about it a bunch. I need to open the access to the basement up. That is true. So that we can stop storing boxes in the hall and tripping around them. <laughs> okay, well, I'm almost out of paint and I got, I think, I feel like I've got enough coverage on here. I tinted this with a little bit of Americana is what we'll call it, a hint of Americana. So we'll see. See what happens. I'm gonna wash this brush Does out. Cottage colors do well with sanding aging. Yes, I would use 220 to 400 grit sandpaper. If you catch it right after it's dried, sometimes you can wet distress it, but it does have a built-in sealer. So it's not gonna powder sand the way a very matte sealer would do. Just keep that in mind. But we use sandpaper with all the time. Yeah, and it does, so it doesn't like powder like DIY paint, but it doesn't gum up when you sand it. Leslie wants to know if anyone has a Samsung washer and dryer. I'm going to tell you right now, don't buy it. Samsung, <laughs> it, uh, we had, we had one. one. We spent thousands of dollars. We now actually have Speed Queens that we love. Um, but Samsung is, if you look it up, they have the most repairs needed and they're not, they're expensive. We had a washer and dryer. Let's just say our family like washes probably on average three to four heavy loads, if not, like that's the minimum that we're gonna wash in a day between towels, bedding, clothing, all the all the things. Um, and it just could not hold up to that. The dryer actually is the one that gave us the most fits. The seal. I, well, well no, actually it was the I can Jack bit the seal a few times. Yes. <laughs> so can't blame Samsung for that. No, that was on the washer, but the dryer, the heating element went out like four oh, times. Yeah. Like I got to the point where I wasn't even calling the repairman. I was proficient at repairing it. <laughs> well, we had the warranty, which is great, except for we didn't have time to wait. Zeb's faster than the repairman. So if you want to wait on a repairman, then buy Samsung. If not, buy Speed Queen. Made in the USA, really great reviews. We have a semi-commercial unit, but you wouldn't need that. Just a regular top loader. Sasha from Sweet Pickens has a Speed Queen. I've really never talked to anybody that doesn't like theirs. Everybody told us not to get the front loader, but we do have the front loader semi-commercial set, and I like them. All right. Did you take my heat then? I'll go get another one. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, when they just put, when they, the dry, the washers that sense how much water is needed sometimes are a pain in the derriere. We leave our front loader door open when we're not using it and that keeps it from stinking. We do need to run a cleaner through it. So that is something to keep in mind. We buy, we live in Utah and we buy our appliances typically from RC Willie and they do have good customer service for the most part. But because we bought a semi-commercial unit, we had to buy it from a commercial dealer. You can't just buy a semi-commercial. It actually was hard to look them up. And when you went there, like they're, they're, they're used to dealing with like laundry mats and hotels and, you know, care homes, hospitals. That's who their main customer is. So when you go there, and you're just buying a washer and a dryer, they're gonna like forklift it on your truck because that's the only way they have to like move these things. And like, I don't wanna say their customer service was bad, but it was it was like 
It ain't bougie. <laughs> they, they didn't care that we were buying one or two units. They were just like, yeah, it's over in the back. Good luck finding the guy with the forklift. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any for you to see. So look at this picture online. We're not unboxing it for you. But I knew that's what I wanted. Yeah. Because when I'm like, oh, you use these for homeless shelters to wash people's clothes, shoes, everything else. Because my kids are no respecter of appliances. So it's got to be heavy duty. Have you done a paint inlay on cottage colors? Yes. But the trick is because as a built-in sealer, I don't let it dry all the way. So it's, I've had a struggle with getting a perfect release. What you could do is just paint cottage colors and then use um, like liquid patina. I know a lot of um, IOD retailers have used liquid patina to put images on things that are already painted or that are chippy. So you could do it that way. Or we did in a video not too long ago, I just laid the paint down, put the inlay on, got it wet dried the inlay real quick, got it wet again and peeled it up and then gave it kind of a chippy old wallpaper look. I did it on that thing that I put those big white knobs on, remember? Oh yeah. I'll have to do it again so that way you guys can see, but it does work. It's just not the same as just putting it into DIY. Paint. Do you have the 220 grid over there? Hey Eliza. Um, no, I used 80. Eliza, you should probably go get all the way ready. So as soon as mom's done with the video, she can run you up there. Odelia is very concerned that you're going to miss the zip lining. And she's, and, yeah, and well, Eliza's, and, and, and Odelia's like, soda. Odelia's like, you got to get the zip line because that's the coolest Odelia's thing Odelia's already week. there. And she is like, please bring me a Dr. Pepper. I got myself. That's only Sprite. Oh, oh you guys. I thought I'd be non All right, get your stuff at the Land Rover. We are almost done here. Liz, you want to come say hi to everybody? Um, sure. You guys want to see Eliza? <laughs> well, they, I just keep talking to somebody that you can't see the face. So that's Eliza. She's 14. In all honesty, she's probably going to take the business over someday. She says no, but. <laughs> she says no, but she's like our most likely candidate. She loves working at the shop. Maria and Kaziah love working with her. In fact, they, we're going to have her come in today, but she's going to be going to girls camp for the church. Hey, Grandpa's on here. Okay, so this is dry. Yesterday I had to do the dark wax and I got my fingers all dirty. So um, I will paint fingers. the elephant if you want to dark wax this. Yeah, I'd love to. And then I I'm want just waiting dark... for this to cool off, and I'm going to distress it and put this clock back oh, together. And then I think this. we'll be pretty much at time. Oh, we are pretty much at time right now. We did not get as much done today. We well, we got like hour. 10 minutes. Gonna... I will take a video. We just actually like... have like 10 minutes because we were a little late. Yesterday. Oh, that's right. Um, yesterday I did a video. I don't know if I put it everywhere, but I will get videos of all the stuff we paint so you can see it up close. Um, okay, this duck is ready for dark wax. I'm going to second coat this elephant. What color, you guys, comment below, what color do you think would go well with my pearls? I'm actually thinking crockery is what I want to do, but I want to know your opinion. What color do you guys want With the pearls there. With the, oh. My, the one that I primed. Boy, this thing is so detailed. I'm going to be all day waxing this. Just wax and wipe, wax and wipe. You're right, this is very hard to paint this little tiny elephant. Okay, I'm gonna put it where it's going. What colors are you using now? I'm using crockery, and then we use Blue Hills mixed with weathered wood. And then we also did crockery mixed with Americana, which gave us kind of a sagey color. Nobody's commenting what color they want. Okay, I'm going with what I want, I'm going with crockery. <laughs> <laughs> she's like i gave you guys a chance but you blew it well i was just trying to think what would look good with the um the green and i think this is just a very natural earthy color so you're probably not going to see this dry because i got to leave the little bandana up you have to take my word for it that's going to look good somehow i still got a little bit of paint but it's on the bottom so it'll be okay 
are you talking fast or do you have the video on fast? That's about the right. <laughs> that's like medium speed for Jamie, just so you know. So you're aware that's medium speed. Which it actually works out well, like if I'm on the news station, because they're like, can you do that entire DIY in five minutes? It's been a while since I've done it. And I'm like, sure. And talk real fast. Okay, crockery. You can kind of see the green poking out of the top so you get my vision. Dark wax is my nemesis, Jean says. Or is it Jean? I think it's Jean. I like dark wax. Took me a while to... The key is either clear waxing beforehand or having like a sealed non-porous surface like with the, the cottage colors here. Um, because the more porous your paint is when you wax, especially if you're going with a colored wax, if it absorbs those paints, it's really hard to get back out. So we like to clear wax first if we're doing like DIY paint and then we'll do, or we'll seal it with a liquid sealer and then we'll do the dark wax. Oh, mom, I need to go to urgent care today because she has a sinus infection. Oh, no. So I told her you could drop her off. So can you check with her? I yeah, just don't want to forget. She her. was asleep this morning. Yep, I can take her. I'm just going to be moving gravel. That's what I told her. I said it's not a problem. You well, I probably, you know what? Maybe I'll take her and finish. I'll wait down there with her and finish editing that video and do oh. some voiceover and stuff. Yeah. She likes when somebody sits with her, but she's also okay on her own. Oh, well, I don't know if I'm going to sit with her. I might be in the parking lot and doing voiceover. Oh, okay. <laughs> also fine. We'll don't, see what she needs. I'll don't do, forget to pick up Redrick at noon. I'll do what she needs first, and then I'll worry about the video. How about that? I'm told I talk and walk fast also. <laughs> it is. So it's, it's funny true. to watch when she you know, she really gets a full head of steam going and she's talking. Even though it feels like she's talking really fast, sometimes she'll even like talk faster than her. She's processing thoughts because it's it's kind of crazy to watch. <laughs> and then she'll and then she'll uh, you know she'll get off track because she's like thinking faster than she can speak it. It's called I have ADHD and I'm unmedicated, and I'm okay with that because I get a lot done. But it also means that I I have to be very cautious about my words and I'm actually better than I used to be. I try not to interrupt people, but it does happen because I've already finished their sentence in my mind and I keep going and it's not <laughs> intentional. It's like, I want to be rude. It's just She's like, all right, I see where you're going with this. And uh, this is what I have to say about that. I think they call it like neurodivergent. And with Zeb, I probably know what he is going to say, to be honest, you don't know. So I try really hard not to. I'm better. All right, this is the Blue Hills mixed with the weathered wood. I love that. I know who ordered, was it Ramona that ordered your situation oh. there? We'll have to second coat those. Can you show them close though so they can see the color difference mm -hmm. between like, do we have something that's just like straight up Americana? No, we so, mixed all the oh, colors. we took it all. I have the Americana. The all that stuff yesterday was sold, so we took it to the shop. <laughs> all right, I don't know if you can see. Here's Americana. It's probably not going to be able to notice, but this is kind of a sagey green when you mix it with crockery. And here's the candlestick that comes apart. So when we're done, we're going to – don't forget to open this and paint the inside too, so in case she wants to take it apart, she can't because it's on screws. Well, I don't want to fill the screws up with paint because then you won't be able to screw Oh, it. that's right. I and mean, she wanted the top, so we'll paint it all like that. Actually – so this doesn't look like the same color. That is not. Okay, so I, this is straight up Americana no, and this is Americana. No, that's Americana, two parts Americana, one part crockery. That is like a dip of the Americana crockery mix with straight up crockery. So that's probably like four parts crockery to one part Americana. Okay. And it's like really light and faintly green, but still crockery. I'm going to show you. We're just going to have to use the can here. This is straight up Blue Hills, and this is Blue Sorry, Hills. I've been paint mixing all morning back over here. This is Blue Hills with weathered wood, so a little bit smokier than the bright Blue Hills. But this duck has a crackle on it from the original finish, so it's going to look great dark waxed. And then I, Zeb will show you. You want to just – we probably need to call it so I can take Eliza to camp, but why don't you show them the back of that so they can see what dark wax is on a heavily detailed piece. Dark wax I is have, your friend. I have her skirt and like the, the chair skirt done. So you guys can see. It's kind of hard to hold in with the camera focused. All right. So we're getting the good. I'm going to do the whole thing here. 
And we're gonna do the same thing to this elephant. I'm not going to dark wax this um, crockery and succulent piece, but we are gonna dark wax the ducks. I'll be sure to get a video of everything. Don't forget to order your cottage colors that we are selling like crazy and the new IOD products. We will possibly, possibly be going live tomorrow in the shop because it's been a few weeks and we have new products. We wanna show you some fun stuff. But if not, there will for sure be a video on Friday new, using one of the new IOD transfers on last week's piece because we didn't quite finish it up and we decided to finish it up this week. So we'll get that done then. So make sure you hit subscribe and notifications so you don't miss anything. JamieRayVintage.com for the yep. main products. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow or Friday. Oh, it was definitely an hour because we just got